Holy Cross family. This is Mrs. Seafring. I am hoping that you would want to play a bingo game with me. I have my bingo board already established with all of my letters, and then I have a basket full of letters that we can choose from. So I'm going to pull the first letter and maybe you can help me find where they go. The first letter is W. Where on the board would I find W? Can my friend see? Right. There it is. Right there. My next letter, good, is a B. Do you see where the B goes on the board? Did you find it? Good, right there. The next letter is the letter, say it with me, U. That's right, the letter U. Do we see it? Where's the letter U? Wow, we're doing really good, friends. We already have three in one row. We get two more, that's bingo. What about this letter? Who knows the name of this letter? That's right, this is the letter M. Do we see where the M goes on my board? Where should we put the M? Do you see it? Way over here. Good. All right, friends. What about this letter? What letter is this? Did you say X? Very good. Where does this letter go? This letter goes <gasps> underneath our B. There is letter X. I'm going to pull another letter out of my basket. What letter is this, friends? Did you say N? You're right. Where do we find an N on our, oh, there it is. It's right there. Put that on there. Oh, getting ready for another bingo maybe. What letter is this, friends? Did you say R? It's a little hard to read, but yes, it's a letter R. See, it's a little indentation there. Great. Where does the R go? Do we see it on our board? I see it. Next to our X. Okay, friends, what letter is this? These letters have been loved by my, by my kids, very much so. <laughs> so the, the paper is falling off, but this is a Z. Did you say Z? And Z is sharing a space with the second to the last letter in the alphabet. There we go. Oh my goodness. We are doing so well, friends. What letter is this? Did you guess G? If you did, that's right. Very good. Where is the G on our board? Where's the... Do you see it? all the way in the corner. Very good, friends. Here is my next letter. Who knows what this letter is? J. Did you say J? I thought I heard someone say J. Where does our J go? Oh, there it is. It doesn't have the line across the top, but we know this is a J. We'll put that here. All right, here is our next letter. What is this letter, friends? That's right, this is the letter O. Where does the O go? O is one of our vowels, A, E, I, O, and U, right? Oh, I see it, right above the W. There we go. 
All right, friends, what is this letter? Did you say H? <laughs> Good job, friends. It goes all the way over here. Good job. Oh, what letter is this? It looks like an O, but it has a tail on it right there. Does this letter look familiar? Did I hear someone say it? I think I heard you. Did you say Q? If you did, very good. Kiss your brain. Where does the Q go? Oh, you're right, way up here. Good job. Here is my next letter. This also looks like an O or a Q, but it's not quite connected all the way. What letter is this, friends? It's a C. Where does the C go? Very good. Where on my board is the C? There it is. Great job. Okay, friends. Here's our next letter. It's one of the vowels. It's an E. I think I heard it. Very good. Where does my E go? Right there it is, right there. Okay. What letter is this? Very good. It's an S. Where does my S go? It goes right here. Very good, and look friends, we have five in a row. When we get five in a row, we can say bingo. But sometimes it's fun to play another game called blackout, where we get all of the letters on the board. We should play that way, yeah? Okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna pull another letter and we're gonna play blackout as we continue our bingo game. What letter is this, friends? It's another vowel, comes after H. That's right, it's I. Do you see I free on our board? Just a few more free spaces. I see it too. There it is. Good job, friends. What letter is this? Sort of like an I, but only one line across the top. That's right, it's a T. Which of these empty spots? I see it too. There it is, that's the T. Just a few more letters. What about this one? What letter is this? Yeah, it's the letter P. You found it. Good job. All right, friends. Here's my next letter. What letter is this? Did I hear someone say D? <laughs> if you did, you're right. Pat yourself on the back. Good job. That's our D. That's where it goes. All right. What's this letter? First letter of the alphabet. <laughs> That's right. It's an A. Where does it go? You see it, don't you? All the way up there. Good job, friends. And this letter, hard to read again. It has looks like an E, but not the final line across the bottom. It's an F. Do you see it? <laughs> Me too. Right here. All right, our next letter is K. There we go. Oh, we've gotten a few more bingos along the way, haven't we, to our blackout. Lots of bingos. Look at all of those. What's our next letter? Oops, I've got some thread. What's our next letter, friends? That's right, it's the letter L. And where does it go? Okay, very good. And I've just got two letters left. I have my V and my Y. They look pretty similar. The Y has the tail to going down. And we see where they go, don't we? So. We're gonna put them in. Great job, friends. You did such a good job playing bingo with me. 
Now, if you think that that was a little bit too easy, maybe what you can do is you can create some cards at home and build a board yourself. I just have a big sheet of paper. I made a grid five by five, and then you can use the letters that you have at home or make your own letters. If uppercase letters are super easy for you, maybe you can try to find lowercase letters. It's the same game, but you match the uppercase letter to the lowercase letter, just like I'm doing here. I would put my B and I would do all the letters of the alphabet. If that way is too hard, maybe you can find trinkets around your house. I happen to have some magnets that have animals on them or different shapes, different things. And I can ask you to find the first letter. So this is an umbrella. Umbrella starts with the letter U. Did anybody guess that? So I can match my word to the first letter if you need to make it a little bit harder. So for example, again, maybe I have a sticker or uh, a little figurine, or maybe you have these magnets. I think I got these at Target a long time ago. This is a cat. C -c cat. What letter starts the word cat? You said C? That's right. And then you can play the game that way to make it a little bit more challenging for our older friends. So that's our bingo game. Thank you so much for playing with me. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye friends.